Hello, I'm Emma Hammett from First Aid for Pets. And last week was Armistice Day, and I was you know, lucky enough to be able to go up to the Cenotaph and be there with all the veterans um, and support them as they were walking past. And, and, you know, it was a really special day. Now, on my way back, I happened to talk to someone who had um, a dog beside them, beautiful dog, with a working dog, please don't distract me, um, on there. Now, he was taking off the, the working dog um, coat that they were wearing, and uh, I was chatting to him as he was doing that. And it turned out that she was one of eight um, post-traumatic stress dogs that have been introduced. And he was, the, her owner was explaining to me the absolute, an, an amazing benefit and transformation it has brought to his life in having this specially trained dog to support him um, in his daily life and to be there as a faithful, non-judgmental, constant companion to help him to cope with living with post-traumatic stress disorder and to normalize his behavior um, when he needs a little bit of extra help and to look out for him. So he said that, you know, in um, the, the, the Armistice Day Parade, she was looking for spaces to take him so that he didn't feel um, closed in and claustrophobic within the big crowd that he was in and that she was just there always looking out for him and he she does an awful lot of work with other veterans as well and she is making a difference to a huge number of people so some of the things that she can do is she's able she's trained to pick up and be sensitive to stress indicators so she can pick up on um, alterations in his mood um, uh, if he has nightmares for example she will um, wake him up and um, reassure him. She um, disrupts his anxieties. And uh, so as well as, as being there, if, if she ha he has nightmares, she also helps him to, to sleep. And it's very reassuring to have her with him um, when he's going to sleep. Um, she uh, can bring medication. So she's, she's trained to do that side of things and remind him when he needs to take it. Um, and things like responding to fire alarms that someone with post-traumatic stress disorder might not necessarily react appropriately to a fire alarm. And she will recognize that that is an issue and she will help lead him to safety and, and just generally be there for him at all times. And the difference that it has made, uh, he just couldn't even put into words. He said, she is just you know, her, his absolute lifeline. So I just thought it was absolutely fascinating. We have dogs helping us in all sorts of ways now. I've met dogs who um, are sniffing out malaria, sniffing out different cancers. They're working with diabetics. They're working with people that are likely to have seizures. There are so many different ways that we are working together to um, benefit everyone. So I thought it was very interesting and I just wanted to share it. So that's Emma Hammett from First Aid for Pets.